you saw a little bit of the Planet Glee intro song, I Want to Be Planet Glee. Just wanted to let you know that I have a contest out. Uh, I want to change the name of Planet Glee. I want to keep the word planet, but I think, um, you know, I've used uh, the word Glee for my last name since 2000, the year 2000. And I see when I go on YouTube that um, it's always, my show is always with um, this other show, uh, you know, I don't know, major network show called um, Planet Glee. I mean, uh, called Glee. And my show has nothing to do with that. So I'm, I'm, I want to keep Planet, but I want to take off Glee. And I'm going to take Glee off my name too. And um, so if you want to call in today, it's 415-861-6648 on your screen. And um, I'd love to have some suggestions about a new planet what or a planet a. So when, when you have the chance to think about it, I've, I've been thinking about it a lot, but not coming up with what, what I really want and... Meanwhile, we have a guest. Uh, you say you see his name there. It's Chris Howe. and um, he is right there in the two shot. I want to put him in. I don't know why it's not showing up. There you there are. There you go. <laughs> look into that camera there. All right. Yes. Hello. Yes, we have three cameras. <laughs> So, my name is Chris. My musical act name is Norway House. So, if people go uh, to see you at a, at a show, you'll be on Norway House? It depends on my mood. If I've had uh, one beer, I might remember to say Norway House. If I had maybe three beers, I might, um, I, might, I might just call myself Chris and forget. So, I'm only on, this is my first glass of wine. So, uh, I'm, I'm Norway House today. Yeah, we're having um, a uh, a party here today, so. Um, oh, am I allowed to do that? Not really, but no. it's okay. It's because <laughs> we're yeah. I'll, thank you. That was water, anyways, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. We were, we were just joking. <laughs> yeah, of course. There, it's party time over here at uh, Bayback, so that is okay. I don't know why I can't get a two shot up. Um, do you want to go ahead and strum away? I I need to figure out some things on the board. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll start my song. You can you can figure out the board, and then uh, we can I can explain the song a bit after. That'd be great. As a preface, the song is actually about this guy. I don't know if everyone remembers who this is. Uh, so if you recognize that face, this is kind of what the song is about. Although you may not uh, recognize that from the song lyrics. Yeah, he was a president um, before the president that we now have. This yeah. man here. That man, that man, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this song We're is We're not called, saying his name. This song is called <laughs> Seven Years. <laughs> I tell you that it's all all right. I tell you that it's half the fight.
Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That was uh, uh, about uh, George Bush, huh? So what I did was I had this whole album um, and it's called The 912 Project. Okay. It was inspired by something Glenn Beck. He, Glenn Beck, you know who Glenn Beck is? I've heard the name. Okay, so Jazz he... Jazz person? Uh, no, no, that's, um, that must be somebody else. Okay, go ahead. Glenn Beck was a Fox News personality. Oh. He's very, ins very insane. He's very crazy. And, uh, he left Fox News. Now he owns his whole network. Um, oh, what's it called? Glenn Beck TV. Ew. Anyways, he put a call to action for this 912 project. And I thought this would be great to come up with this environmentally themed, um, uh, I'm, I was really involved with this peak oil movement at the time. Uh -huh. Well, not so much involved, but interested in learning about it and promoting it. Was and this in Canada? No, this was here. This is in, in California. So I've, this was around seven years ago. Um, and okay. um, so I came up with this concept for this 912. And this is the, the album cover for the 912 project. So uh, if you can see, there's the World Trade Centers here and two monsters mm -hmm. throwing a paper airplane at it. Oh, did you design that? No, my friend Kevin did. Uh, he's also he's also Canadian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Only Canadians could get away with uh, an, an album cover like that, probably. But it's it's a it's a giant picture he has in his living room. So I just took a picture of that and used that as my album cover. Um, but the song is kind of centering around the wasted seven years that Bush spent after the nine eleven attacks, mm -hmm. when I thought he could have been, you know, taxing gas, putting out huge environmental efforts to get us away from foreign foreign oil, because we. You know, we were attacked by, I think it was eight Saudi Arabians uh, were on, on, the, on the planes. Mm -hmm. And why did we not use that time as a call to action to fight against oil, rather than what Bush did was, was go to war with Iraq and Afghanistan, which I thought was completely the wrong decision. Well, that uh, brings up something that uh, I, um, I really do not want to see um, stop, and that is... Um, I, I want to see. I still want to see demonstrations for uh, uh, equality, justice, taking people who are behind bars out of prison, um, people who are being shot a million times. Um, you know that happened under Bush, but because Bush was doing all this this other, you know, horrible stuff. Um, I think the media is picking on Obama because Obama is African American, and I I feel like he is such a he, he Obama is such a sigh of relief compared to Bush. Bush Bush for me was a complete embarrassment. Uh, always you know uh, was I don't really, <laughs> really want to see his picture no, to be honest. Picture I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was, I was having fun looking up his pictures this this morning. <laughs> I ha I grew up, you know, with him having been in power, and I just don't like that guy at all. So um, I'm sorry, I'm I'm censoring you. I didn't want to do that. No, it's okay. Um, I don't like Bush either. The song was not a pro Bush song. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm gonna take us to your Norway house um, oh. website, and we could have it maybe in between us. Also, I don't know. So this is my um, Facebook page. You can see there's my, uh, that's the same album cover on the top with the World Trade Center picture. And my, uh, one of my newer albums, KG, I put as the It's, as the it's on picture. our shot, too. Oh, there we go, yeah. So I have uh, about, uh, I'm coming out with about an album every six months. Wow. So I'm trying to be as productive as possible. I don't right. know why, but I just feel this need to be productive. I um, listen to your SoundCloud yeah. stuff. Is that your newest stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got my I have my SoundCloud here Can and a Bandcamp page, yeah. but I put songs as I record them on the SoundCloud page. So if you look for Norway House on SoundCloud, you'll find all these songs. Um, I try to do like uh, Brian Wilson had mm -hmm. the idea of um, uh, Teenage Symphony to God. So my idea was more like uh, maybe th early '30s Symphony to God. So like throwing back to the '90s. So it's a lot of like '90s rock, but with like heavily produced. Uh, like sonic okay. cloudscapes in the in the production. So right, what what you're getting right now is really just an acoustic performance. But if you listen to my the stuff on the internet, it's it's much more elaborate and 
draw, can draw you in a lot more, probably. I listened to um, Made to Love with the Heart, and I listened to Way Back. Um, Those were old ones. Those were very old. Those were like... Uh, what are like, your newer ones? about 10 years old. I just kind of mix it up. Uh, Between, oh, us is, I see. Between Us is much newer. Plans Change at the top. The first one there, that's a newer one. Okay. But, I mean, I'm coming out with usually recording about a song a week. How do you feel about um, being Canadian and living here? Is that, does that affect you in terms of um, your music? Do you feel a little bit removed? I mean, California is the, probably the most Canadian uh, state. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't feel too far removed. And okay. the culture, there's not too much of a culture difference, I would say. Okay. Um, I think uh, the healthcare system in Canada actually is a, is a real boon for artists because you can try and become an artist and not worry about your health and, and having, mm -hmm. uh, having a you know, disastrous financial impact on you. Whereas in this country, um, you know, we have Obamacare now, but even with that, it can still be uh, quite costly um, and risky. Whereas in Canada, if something happened to your health and you were an artist and you didn't have a lot of money yet um, and, and you were just starting out, you'd be okay because it's fully covered. How does one become a Canadian? <laughs> uh, you, you, you need some probably discernible skills that Canada wants. Okay. Um, with I, I probably understand. mining engineering because there's a lot of stuff to mine there. I thought the the uh, tar what's it called? The tar sands. Tar sands is is it still going on or has it been? Um, you know, is is it in limbo? It's everything. Is I don't know what's going on with everything right now since oil prices have dropped so much. Mm -hmm. I feel like they have to come back up at some point. We have a finite supply of oil. In fact, I have a, another diagram that I brought. Um, oh. well, this one is much too small, but it's basically showing <laughs> it's the <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's showing the uh, uh, the usage of oil of mankind over the entire of history since uh, Jesus Christ, which is here uh -huh. at the zero point. Um, and you go two thousand years, and we didn't use really any oil. Uh -huh. And here we're using up all the world's oil supply within this short period of time. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I feel like it's vastly undervalued. Like this is like the most useful thing that mankind has ever discovered this like all this dinosaur uh energy that's just been stored up for bill you know millions of years mm -hmm. at our disposal that can help us produce such amazing things and we're just you know the amount that we spend on it is trivial like you can the amount of energy that a, a gallon of gas can get you okay <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm gonna uh do you want to play the song yeah, that, that you song. were talking about? And then I want to, I have some questions I, I want to ask you, but I want to hear you play too, because okay. you're really great. Okay. So, great guitar player, great singer. So this is one of the songs I did on a weekly challenge. So this guy, Casey Turner, hosts a weekly song challenge. And this is one of the songs for that challenge. I also submitted it for that NPR contest, although I did not win. The fantastic Negrito beat me out. Um, oh, really? Who's this, that? It's a guy in Oakland, actually, but it was a national contest, but I did not win. But I thought I had a reasonable chance. Maybe I'll, I'll give a better performance here. So cool. it's called Stop Time. You can find it on SoundCloud. Trying 
to hide behind all these rhymes and I'll write my name seven times nobody told us what to talk about nobody told us that we could live our lives and I wish Stop time and I wish people thought I was dumb. Yay! I listened to that song um, this afternoon. That's a, that's really a beautiful song. Um, I, I, I don't think I. I don't think I performed it with justice there. My uh, my fingernails are always finger picking is a very challenging uh, activity with your with managing your fingernail length. Yes, I'm not good at it at all. And, and um, I haven't been doing finger picking. I I used to do it a lot, and then I uh, only recently picked it up again. And I'm just kind of getting used to it. Yes, I I think it's definitely uh, it's a required uh, acquired um, art. You know, it's not easy. I um I played this week myself bass. You know, bass is so much easier. You played than, finger pick bass? Uh no, I can't <laughs> I can't use my thumb. You're doing no, like I just slap used, and funk and everything? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I was uh jamming to a kind of like uh shoegaze. Oh okay. Um, sort of like a and a uh, a happy song that's actually has a dark side. That's what it was. I want to um, introduce someone. This is actually the first time that she's been on the show, and um, she'll be on the show for a while. Um, I think, can we, I'll move over so that um, you can get into the shot. The, this is Jackie. Are you in more? Move on, move on in more. Thank you. Um, Jackie, you want to tell us um, how you made it to Bayback? Um, I'm an SF State student, and I'm just here uh, interning for the semester, and so I'll be here helping out on the show. <laughs> great, <laughs> great. Yeah, uh, in fact, you can move over a little bit more so you can okay. be in the <laughs> And, um, yeah, that, that's yeah. great. And, um, yeah, st stay in the shop, please. Okay. Move over a little bit. <laughs> yeah, good. And we all have our mics. Nice. So, um, what I wanted to ask you was... Um, has Canada ever had a problem with uh, racial discrimination or uh, the criminal justice system having taken things too far? Or I mean, we don't have the scale of the United States. I mean, the United States, especially with uh, like African American, Latino populations, is the problem that have been instilled um, for generations. Um, Canada has it only really on a small scale, but uh, I would say with like the Aboriginal population there. So my my band's name or my artist's name is Norway House. It's actually a small town up in northern Manitoba. Mm -hmm. I think you were looking it up. And, and yes, I did on Wikipedia. Um, and and they they have a, a large ab ab Aboriginal population, the Cree Nation that lives there. Mm -hmm. I saw um, that. My dad actually spent time uh, in his adolescent years growing up there. Um, living, working there. Um, my grandfather was installing telephone communication lines there. It's a town of about 5,000 people. Um, but there's just a lot of race, racial tension, especially like Winnipeg was voted one of, uh, you know, the most racist, or not racist, <laughs> I, don't, I forget what the word was, but it was, uh, there was, you know, dispar disparity problems between the, the native community and the rest of the community. And that's just something that has to be worked out still. In a Canadian way. In a Canadian way. So we'll be polite about it, but <laughs> yeah. it still needs to be addressed. And there won't be guns. Yeah. Right? Uh, no, there's, they have some guns. But not like shooting someone seven or eight, 14 times. Well, they had that guy the who came into the Parliament buildings, which is our version of the White House, and he he shot a couple, um, he shot a, someone in the military, and he shot a police officer, I think. How long ago was that? Uh, maybe six months ago, I think. Really? And then oh. the sergeant at arms of of um, the Canadian government shot him down and killed him. 
So he had a gun, and yeah, he no had a gun too. And he killed this guy. <laughs> he took oh. out the, the sergeant at arms. No, he has to. He's like, he's the man's. He man like controls the whole. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so it's we're over. <laughs> the twenty-two minutes goes by so fast. That's oh, the, is it that's the yeah. That's the oh, no. um, that's the show clock. Oh, Six twenty-two. No. Is it over? Yes, already. Oh, for some but, reason I thought it went till six thirty. But I don't even think did we we hit record? Yeah. Uh, we're still recording. Um, we'll wait till he he comes back. Okay. Maybe, I'm I'm sorry you can't play another song, um, okay. but uh, you can always um, on Saturdays I'm here, okay. so we can always record a song, okay. uh, record a show, and figure it out more yeah. uh, centralized around your music. Okay. Yeah, you well, know what I mean? It's still a good show. I thought it was a great show. Yeah. I didn't really I, practice I'm not the letting last it song go. <laughs> Thank you for being so polite and...